Hi, I'm Johnny Howard and I'm the bass in the King Singers and welcome to my bedroom. Yes, we're in lockdown and that's why there's a spin bike in the corner. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you Eric for putting together another virtual choir. It's so exciting and I can't wait for us all to put our parts down. I thought I would just share a couple of tips about how we can all be better choral singers when we're doing it. Now we can do that in a lot of different ways. We can think about balance, we can think about shared intention, but today I wanted to talk a bit about blend. What do we mean by blend? Well, when we're talking about blend, we're talking about how we can create one sound which is unified when we're part of a choir. So blending with the other voices around us rather than having one mass of sound which is made up of lots of different fractured individual voices. We can do it in a lot of ways. We can do it by matching vowel sounds and by matching our diction, and we can do it by thinking about our ensemble very, very keenly and making sure we come in together and come off together. But I wanted to talk today about matching tone and how if we think about matching tone, then we can create something which really sounds like one instrument. Now, I have a pretty simple spectrum that I like to talk about when I'm talking about tone. It's not academic. Um, so if you want that, you're gonna to have to go somewhere else. But with me, this is something which is hopefully going to be easy to remember and it's a spectrum that has at one end a duck and at the other end a hairdryer. When we think about a duck in England we think about it making the sound quack or more specifically quack, quack. If I sing it quack. How would we describe that sound? It's pretty nasal, it's pretty frontal and it cuts through a hairdryer, on the other hand, blows out a lot of hot air. <sighs> By contrast, that's really gentle and warm and, and pretty um, sort of nondescript. It doesn't stick out in any way. It's just really, really kind of comforting and warm. If we sing those on one spectrum, it might go a bit like this. They're basically at the same volume. I'm not talking about dynamics here. I'm talking about simple tone differences. But they sound very, very different. And I would encourage you to think about using tones at different points on that scale. I'm not saying that you need to sing at either end of the spectrum. It's very hard to sustain a sound which is that breathy and a sound which is that strident. It doesn't necessarily sound that nice. But if you think about mixing things up, so as a group you're deciding, okay, we're gonna sing in a slightly more edgy, uh, strident way, then you might think slightly more towards the duck. And if you want to have something which is a bit warmer and a bit kind of uh, round, a bit more like a cloud, then go for something with a bit more air. Think of the hairdryer. This whoa, then it's something we do at the King Singers all the time. Um, so don't think that these are things that don't apply to us. They apply to everyone who sings in a choir. I hope that maybe helps. Really happy singing, and I can't wait to see what happens when we all sing gently. <laughs>